Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. So, guys, I finally figured out what was wrong with my computer. Um, probably for the future viewers, you guys don't know what was happening, but basically, I was having a little bit of difficulty with um, my videos just going up and having this weird black screen of death, and I was getting really, really sick of it, and it was getting really annoying because I'd always put out a video in the morning, and then later I'd realize that it was the entire black screen of death, and so that I wouldn't be able to actually like show, and I was getting so frustrated. Well. Um, a viewer kindly pointed out that the thing you had to do was basically like, well, do a couple things, but the main thing I had to do was just basically like change the resolution screen, and that fixed it, which made me feel kind of like an idiot for having major problems and major soul-searching internet stuff to realize that all you had to do was just change the resolution, which, yeah, made me feel like an idiot. So, yeah, guys, that was, <laughs> yep. Can't really say anything except thank you viewers and thank you subscribers for caring enough for me to get back into this. I'm glad to be back into this. I really can't wait for this episode, guys. Like, you know, there are certain times, I'll, I'll say it right now, there are certain times in certain episodes where I'll know and feel like I don't want to do a series or I don't want to do some things or, well, this is basically pertaining to, like, school. I wouldn't say YouTubing in general, but you know what I mean. There's some things in life where you're like, I don't want to do this. I, I don't know why I would have to do this. I don't even know, care about this or this and that. I honestly do care about YouTubing. I mean, YouTubing is just a ton of fun. No matter which way you slice it, dice it, put it in your pocket, no matter what way you look at it, it is insane amounts of fun. By the way, can I declare war on you? Just just because Yeah, I can. Okay, so let me see. Uh let's see. Would you guys but before I do this, would you guys accept my vassalization? No. You guys are way too big. So yeah, we're gonna have to cut you guys down to size. So but yeah, you know there are certain things that you just don't love in this world, but I really do love YouTubing. YouTubing is insanely fun for me. So, yeah, I just, I don't know, I have a really good hyperactive feeling right now that this is going to be a good episode. Um, not only that, but this is also the episode where we should be able to annex the Ottomans, which is going to be insanely fun to see what's going to happen there. Oh, it seems like France is... What? Why are you doing that, France? I don't hate... Oh, shoot. Okay, so they rivaled us. Okay. How many rivals does that make of us? So we have Argon, France, Sweet. What? Oh, wait. I was about to say, wait, that's us? How did Sweden become my enemy? I don't I don't even have contact with Sweden most of the days. By the way, on a side note, this is the most powerful Sweden I've ever seen in any of my games. Um, not as powerful as the one I made it, of course, because I'm the player, but pretty powerful Sweden right here we're having. I mean, it's conquering most of the Baltics and... Yeah, and then this is probably the most messed up Holy Roman Empire I've ever seen, because look at all these big, gigantic states in here. Although, it would be much more fun playing like this and ever, and then Burgundy, wow. Just such a different world. Anyway, so let's see, our enemies right now are Portugal, the Knights. Why do the Knights hate me? Castile and France. Okay, Portugal I understand, the Knights I kind of understand, France I don't understand, so... I guess making France a friend will just never happen, and I, if I remember correctly, Burgundy is under its own personal union. By the way, if you guys ever want into interdependence, Burgundy dislikes us, so we so we cannot think. It. All right, I was about to say if you guys ever want to support in the ever want to get independence from your main overlords, I will definitely support you. But um, speaking of Sweden, I think I'm going to try to actually get an alliance with Sweden because. You know, Sweden's opinion about Morocco, well, yeah, we're negative right now, but I'm pretty sure if I was to do this correctly, I could probably get a good alliance with them, which would be pretty awesome. But, yeah, so let's get back to the war, because I'm getting too sidetracked, and I know there's going to be a big, gigantic battle, I'm going to be like, oh, shoot, should have been paying attention. Uh, let's see, we have money right now, so that means we should be spending it, unless we have loans, which means we should be repaying them. We do not have any loans, so let's start spending more money. Let's see, do we have all of our constables built? Or not workshop, yeah, there we go, constables, no, we do not, we still got a big, we got such a big empire right now, I mean... If this was real life and you actually saw an empire this big, you would be blown away. 
Like, my empire is bigger than... Well, quite frankly, my empire is bigger than Russia ever will be. Even if it does expand out, my empire is way bigger. Because I own basically all of this. An entire continent is almost mine. Which is amazing. So, it almost should be called the... Oh, shoot, yes! Okay, okay, let me finish this up. It almost should be called the Nation of Morocco. Because this is basically my land. But we finally integrate the Ottomans, yes! Okay, okay, okay. Five prestige. Well, that's kind of not useful because I wish I'd get... Because that kind of seems like I need more than that, but... Yes! And rule the seas! And if you guys are wondering, yes, I kind of knew that we were going to gain a big gigantic military fleet. And that's the reason why I took that mission. Accumulate money. Ten prestige. Do I need it? No. Colonize. I could probably do a colonization. Mantouris. Martinus. Where's Martinus? Oof. Hmm, the natives actually accumulated actual decent sized army. I will admit that's actually kind of cool. But yes, I, I know, I know guys, I know I'm kind of, I know I'm kind of neglecting what I should be. I should be like focusing in on like looking at my new colonies and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's see, Mantuas. Uh, five base tax, that actually would not be bad to own. And then maybe from there we could use that as a good selling point to Malacca and all these kind of places. Because if we could start colonizing over here... This is actually pretty, pretty easy, because they're already Sunni, and then we could convert the culture, and then... Hmm, it could be pretty easy, but yes, okay, okay. Let's finally get to the actual real cool thing that happens, that we now own, own the, Mo the Moroccoans... Not Moroccoans, we own the Ottomans, who are a halfway accepted culture. I'm hoping by the end of the day, they will become an accepted culture. And let's see. Um, let's see, can we build any units over here? Oh, it seems like they were building some units already, so let's... Let's, like, delete those. Because what I'm guessing is, holy moly, we have, yeah, I was about to say, uh, we do have major overextension right now, so we don't want any new units being made from anywhere, no new ships, nothing. We don't want anything to be made. Anything queued up right now, cancel it, because we really don't need it. So, yeah, okay, okay. So, let's just wait for a week, wait for all these, like, mini units to stop having this low morale thing. And holy shoot, we're gonna go bankrupt in a couple days. Shoot. Okay, okay. Now everyone that's in an army, go right here. Um, we're gonna slowly but surely break this all up until we have enough men. Um, ships of my new empire, go right here. Um, gosh, dang, this is so many units. Okay, you guys go right there. I mean, I'm inheriting the entire empire's land. Oh my goodness, this is like insane. Insane amounts of units. Okay, let's get, actually get back to a war, too. Because I know we're fighting a war here. Oh. Are they actually going to beat us? Because that would be really sad. And a bunch of natives beat a bunch of civilized powers. I'm just going to be honest. That would be the worst headline I've ever heard of. Okay. And I think I think I could travel through enemy lands of Terran Incognita if it does have stuff. If it's if I'm actually going to war with them, so I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing to do. Um, what else? Oh yeah, yeah. Now it's time to go to that Sweden plan I was going to enact. Well, you have, s yeah, because I want to make sure that if Sweden becomes one of my friends, we could probably use him to like help prevent the Russians from hating us, because the Russians hate us. Again, what? Another rival? Really? Okay, how do I even hurt you, Russia? I, like, don't even do anything. I, I don't... That's BS. They should not hate me. <laughs> like, seriously, I do nothing to them. Nothing. Literally nothing. Ugh. Okay. Okay, conquer... You know what? Yeah, I think I'll take this mission just because I like the global settler increase thing. It helps a lot. But, you guys, you better go kill all those units. I'm just saying that now. And get back to over here while I'm... S well, I'm taking loans for a lot of different countries, okay. You are an ex-Ottoman troop, so I'm going to go get you guys over here. Uh, no, you guys are just my regular military, so you guys should not matter. Okay, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm first going to try to delete this big stack of army and maybe keep that 37 stack over there alive. Oh my goodness, that's so much manpower. Okay, you guys. Okay, combine, then delete. There we go, 117 men just vanished out of nowhere. Does that mean we get... No, it needs about... About 32 more men. Shoot. 
Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to keep at least one stack alive. I, I guess not, so divide it up, split it. Okay, all you guys, divide, die, divide, die. You, uh, divide, die. 18, does that get me under my limit? Oh. This makes me so sad, because I really want to keep this. Okay, and then all you guys. Let's see, how much are we over on naval limit? Mmm. Oh, god dang it. Can I just delete all the, like... All the like barks. I know. This, I know this is gonna sound terrible. Can I just delete all the barks? I don't. I don't really want to delete my ships. This is a. This is a good fleet. Oh. What? We're still over our limit. Okay. Okay. Let me delete these guys. Are we under our limit now? Yes, we are. We're under our limit by a couple. So that obviously got us out of whatever we are in, but. Now I'm kind of sad because I just basically deleted an entire army and yeah okay and then Kodakrom oh yeah you guys were the Ottomans why you... oh sorry guys sorry guys I knew these guys were my were the Ottomans like protectorate but I didn't know what they were and while we're here I'm going to instantly cancel protectorate yes and I know it's a stability drop but. That was not under my rule. First off, I'm going to point this out. That was not under my rule. And second of all, protectorists are BS. They do absolutely nothing. Like, I will be honest with you. Protectorists, all they do is just provide you money. And it, unless you're a colonial power, it, they don't help you with wars. They don't help you with anything. You know what? Screw you. I'm going to start embargoing you too. Okay. I'm trying to be a nice guy over here. I'm not even trying to invade you guys. I'm invading little African nations. Which I should start invading you guys because you guys annoy me. But, yeah, okay. I think we just got... I think we got our money situation settled out. I don't remember what we were at, but... Yeah. <laughs> Dang, that was a big... Uh, just just kind of destroyed an entire empire's land. And, yes, I could destroy all my ships right now. But I won't because, you know what? I actually like my ships... So, yeah, not gonna destroy him. Apparently, we have a hmm. The army of Anatolia. Ooh. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Were the Ottomans actually sending an army to help me? And is this an army I missed deleting? And I can actually keep this army? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, uh, send these guys back. Oh, sweet, that means I actually did get to keep an army. Except it's mostly full of transports. Uh, kind of sad now. Kind of sad. Okay. I should, okay, I should stop paying attention to this war over here because there is a 23 death stack. And while I know that's not a threat to me, I still should be at least acting like it's a threat because I know at some point it's going to destroy me if I don't actually pay attention because as you guys know I have a natural habit of just not paying attention and then all of a sudden things just go really bad for me it's kind of a good trait to have in a in your leader I would say is he just looks away for like 20 years and then all of a sudden you realize there's a revolt and he's wondering why the heck did this happen to me well you forgot to you forgot to you forgot to uh you know, cancel those high taxes. Oh. So wait, we still have those? Yes. The people have been paying them for like 20 years. No. You know, if I was them, I'd be mad at me too. You know what? Hey, they can have the independence if they want to. And that would be the kind of conversation I would have with myself if if I had actually done that. Okay, let's get the lo local constables again. Money. Money. Me want money. And... I'm still kind of debating if I want to make Timbuktu an actual, like, new capital. Because I think it would be an honestly to God better capital than the one we have right now. Which would be nice. And, yo, you guys are stupid. You guys really think I'm not... Uh, don't start spreading out. Especially when my native my native allies are coming. By the speaking of which, my native allies, how are we doing in terms of vassalization? Yeah, let's... Let's start annexing. Oh, I can't start annexing you. Okay, so I'll annex you in a little bit, but 
let's go destroy these guys and start breaking them up for our future empire. Because we want to make sure our empire is all united. Yeah, you guys have no chance. You you guys are tech and you guys are tech less than us. Oh, this is gonna be a slaughter. Yeah. Okay. Get back up. Go help destroy, and then let's go back up here. Let's go help destroy these guys. Heal a little bit of my land while you can. Yeah. There we go. And yeah. So yeah, that war is gonna go pretty much okay. We're also gonna have to get a new advisor. Global trade power. Global trade. Better relationships over time. Wow, they really do not like me. I don't know what I do. I'm seriously not a clue at what I'm doing to make the Russians hate me right now. I don't even border them. Oy. Okay, so we have a 27 death stack right here of actual decent composure. Hmm. Um, a decent sized militaristic fleet. Mostly full of, full of transports, which I'm kind of angry about because I think I already have a transport fleet. So let's delete all these transports because I don't really want to be paying extra for transports. Okay, and let's see. How much of... We're finally down to our limit. That's good. Alright, we can build a couple... We can actually build a couple new trade fleets, actually. That'd be nice. One, two... Oh. Well. Two new ships. But, yeah, that's actually a decent-sized army right here we got to keep from the Ottomans. Okay, that's that's good. I, I guess we did gain something out of this, which was nice. Okay. And while we move our entire army forward, a damaged colony is damaged colony. Shoot. Okay, well, while we have that going, let's go colonize St. Uh, Manchuria by who you stink. That was a that was a mean move to do, uh, Portugal, because you knew I was going to colonize that colony. I, I have a feeling that they only colonized it just to annoy me. <sighs> that kind of makes me mad. Okay. Oh, by the way, I should be mentioning this, but I've been fighting this entire war and not at full army maintenance. So, the fact that these Native Americans still do this bad after the fact that I've been fighting this war this terribly tells you a lot about how badly it is to be a Native American. I mean, not Native American, African at this time. Yeah. You get... Yeah, and look at that. When I actually have full morale, there is, like, no chance they can beat me. Not even with their best of commanders could they beat me. Okay, drive them all the way back to their land, and then we should be fine. That war should be going great. Honestly, there should be no troubles. And while we're here, let's just keep building up our early frigates, because I do want to build up a decent-sized frigate fleet, because now we got an entirely new empire to deal with, entirely new trade zones to deal with. We got basically... Th Ooh, holy shoot, we have so many trade nodes, trade nodes to deal with. We have... This trade node, this trade node, this trade node, this trade node, uh, this, 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 some of this, this, and some of this. We have basically all those trade nodes to deal with. Let's see. How are we doing in the Morocco trade node, or Constantinople trade node? Well, I'm going to call it the Morocco trade node now, because it's Morocco's trade node. We're doing very well. Controlling all the power, basically keeping all the income in our land, or keeping half of it in our land. It's good enough to where I like it. Okay, over here, we aren't really controlling much. Tanis, probably not controlling much because I'm not really paying attention. Over here in Safai, we control it all because we have to, because we it's our trade node. Over here, they're basically squishing me so I can't get anything done. Over here, we control it. Good. Ivory Coast, we should control this. Yeah, we control it. Good. Over here, we control it. Cape Coast, we definitely control the coast. It's not even fair. Uh, this, we don't actually control that much. Kilwa controls most of it, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be rectified once we destroy them. And yeah, we have so many. Dang. The trading, trading, trading isn't, uh, trading's going to get such a big boost in like the new recent patch. Like once that new patch comes out, it's going to be so nice. Like, right now, as it is, trading just kind of a bypass of the system. It's not really that detrimental to have a trading post or trading stuff in your empire. But, well, but once you get that new patch in, it's going to be, like, insanely important. Okay, they're still running. Yeah, you get, No matter where you guys are running, I'm still going to catch up to you. Oh my goodness, this is a... What? Good government policies. What? Huh. Gain stability. Gain ducats, or gain, gain ducats. Well, I don't really preferably want any of those kind of things. 
not too big of a deal that I get the technological growth. Ducats are going to go by, and so is the... Uh, money would not be bad right about now. I mean, I could use it, but I don't really... No, why am I? Why am I not? Why am I turning down a free stability? Let's just get the free stability and keep it. Keep ourselves a little bit happy. Okay. Uh, okay. So Persia wants to declare war on Kuala Kulu. Well, guys, it seems like you guys are gonna have to wait till the next episode to figure out if I agree to this. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.